And now it's time to take a look at a few things happening in our community this upcoming week. The Killeen City Council will meet Tuesday to set the date for the District 4 special runoff election after two candidates tied. 6 News reporter Andrew Moore tells us what this will look like. Andrew? And uh, we're going to a runoff and you know we'll, we'll go head to head. Look forward to the voters coming out again and making their voices heard. While most Killeen Council members can put the election behind them, these two candidates are gearing up for rounds two at the polls. A recount determined that incumbent Steve Harris and challenger Michael Boyd tied in the May 1st election. On Tuesday, the council will decide when to hold a second election to decide the District 4 race. The time frame is June 2nd to June 12th. It will include a period of early voting, which people can do at either Clean City Hall or Lions Club Park Senior Center. The council will also set an election day with three voting location options. Both candidates are ready to get their supporters to work. We need to go back. We need to continue to talk to the constituents, uh, find out what some of their desires are. And, and this time I'll put a team together because I, I did the first election all by myself. For the city, it means spending more than $7,000 in salaries and voting supplies. And for the candidates, it means spending more time re-engaging voters. More than 100 votes originally went to the third man in the District 4 race, Broccoli King Moore. And that's more than enough to change the District 4 runoff. Every vote counts in, this, in the local election. And the thing I would tell them is, you know, this is proof. It comes down to the decision that people make. Andrew Moore, 6 News.